so last time on the one we have done till here now we have to do go for this topic the elongation of a planet or the moon and uh, why the moon uh, why the venus is morning star and evening stars so, so what to do with this one so first of all this elongation of the planet or the moon so this is about the planet same thing will be very well understood about moon and everything so like this jupiter so jupiter is a superior planet this is the earth orbit so jupiter is known as superior planet whereas the planet which is inside the earth orbit that is mercury and venus they are inferior planets the planets which is out from the earth's orbit like which is a more having more radius than the earth's orbit that will be su uh, superior planets so superior planets are having different elongations whereas the inferior planets are having different uh, elongations so just for the time being how what is elongation that we will have it we will study just about it after this one but to tell that it can be that venus is having an elongation elongation of venus is about 47 degrees and that of the mercury is about 26 degrees so superior planets can have elongation up to 180 so superior planet means this is jupiter 180 degree east or 180 degree west this is superior planets they are talking about here you can say this is inferior planet which is venus and mars uh, venus and mercury whereas the superior planet which is given here is jupiter this j3 is representing jupiter and this v is representing venus and m is representing uh, mercury okay So there are few things like we should know what is conjunction, what is opposition and what is quadrature. So planet or the moon. So it can be for a planet or for the moon. It's said to be in conjunction with the sun whereas viewed from the earth it is in the same direction as the sun. So this is let us say that here if this is earth here is sun so a planet is said to be or a moon is said to be in conjunction with the sun where as viewed from the earth when it is viewed from the earth it is in the same direction as the sun so this one is earth this one is our sun and it is in the same direction here then it will be said as conjunction opposition now a planet or the moon is said to be in opposition with the sun whereas viewed from the earth it is in opposite direction to the sun that is celestial longitudes are 180 degree apart that is celestial longitudes are same this is also given that the longitude celestial will be same so this will be same so for uh, opposition this is our let's say sun this is our earth so the planet should be here or the moon should be here so this and this will make 180 degrees this is about 180 degrees that is this 180 degree they will be apart so this will be then called richer a planet or moon is said to be in quadrature where the elongation is exactly 90 degree east or west in the figure so like this one is our sun for the quadrature this is our sun this is our earth and this is our another planet so this is like 90 degree it is making at the earth so it is like this 
or it can make a 90 degree view I'll show you just here like this here it is making Venus is also here actually every tangentially will be making 90 degree only but this is shown especially they have given what is will be there J2 and J4 that's why I take J2 and J4 so this is 90 degrees so Venus is having maximum elongation of 47 degree Mercury is having maximum elongation of 26 degree and what is conjunction when they are in a when something is with the Sun that is when the, it is viewed from the earth it is in same direction actually we have to just go through this only viewed from the earth it is in same direction as the Sun or okay, viewed from earth in the opposite direction of the Sun and elongation is 90 degree east or west that's it okay this one here it is written here it is written one to solve this one okay this is not okay now Venus has a morning and an evening star okay so for morning or evening star what we need is that uh, to see the Venus and Venus is having maximum elongation of 47 degree so 47 when divided by 15 will be around 15 3 is a 45 so it is something around 3 hours so for 3 hours it will be visible so what we need to learn is only this thing that Venus would be about to set up the sun Venus will be when when the Venus can be a morning star when it will rise before the uh, sun then it can be a morning star and it when it will be evening star when it will rise after the sunset so this everyone knows so how I have done is okay mm, at such time you have to Here was something. <coughs> yeah, here. Venus has a westerly elongation and it is a morning star. So I what I have learned is easterly elongation evening star. Same name. Easter E for easterly elongation and E for evening so I learned it like this easterly if the Venus is having easterly elongation then evening star if the Venus so opposite westerly elongation will be morning star so I always remember that easterly elongation only E to easterly east to evening so easterly and evening same same and the other is opposite that's what I need to remember and I know that Venus's elongation is about 47 degrees which will be divided by 15 degrees because earth is moving at a rate of 15 degrees per hour and this covering up so it will be about three hours that is it here written only it would be about the observer's horizon for approximately three hours that's what so you don't need to data for all these just you need to say this one that easterly elongation so evening star westerly elongation then morning star so you need to only have this learnt easterly elongation you know it is evening star so other will be opposite and Venus to just to remember that it is having 47 and uh, uh, it is divided by 15 then it will be approximately 3 hours whereas for the mercury it is 26 so it is also like okay more or less close to 26 36 46 so if we subtract 21 we get for the mercury but generally mercury nobody asks where it is written 26 so just to remember these two figures and for the superior planet if somebody is asking what is the superior planet's elongation so you, we have this it is maximum with the 180 degrees also such as for the jupiter it goes so this is all about the morning star and evening star it's simple language you don't need to read all this just to remember east and evening magnitude of the planets so magnitude of the planet is the negative it is the more brighter it is 
is written somewhere so planets are not self luminous they are uh, they are rendered visibility only because they reflect the lights from the sun in this way passages the venus would be exhibiting faces just like the moon does as the superior conjunction and all this so they can say because the earth and the venus before the inferior planet it is about the superior conjunction much further away from the earth venus therefore apparent smaller and dim with a full and light brilliant in the ascent venus appears bright about 36 days before the inferior conjunction and something else no need nobody ask this that is not of side real period of moon just to remember this the right real period of moon it is equal to 27 days 7 hours 43 minutes and 12 second approximately which is 27.33 days so this means sidereal period is the period of time taken by the moon to complete one revolution of 360 degree around the earth so moon always completes one complete rotation in 27.33 days synodic new moons were the two consecutive moons nobody asked this time okay shorter period notes ascending note descending notes we hear the sound sound the point at which the moon orbit intersect the ecliptic moon orbit intersect the ecliptic are called the moon nodes that node at which the moon crosses the ecliptic from the south to north south to north is known as ascending nodes south to north it is increasing now so that's why ascending nodes and north to south means going down that's why descending nodes okay the nodes points are fixed they move westerly in the ecliptic at 9 degree a year the nodes completes ecliptic in 18.6 years and all this okay no okay this is that the equinox is moving with the moon nobody asked this thing okay now we need to remember this thing that uh, faces of moon so faces of moon we need to remember so we need to remember actually this diagram so this one we have to know this is first quarter here it is third quarter first and third quarter okay now new moon new moon this is new moon this is crescent this is half moon this is gibbous and this is full moon and then again this is gibbous this is again gibbous gibbous this is again half moon this is again crescent moon see so so how i was doing is uh, crescent half and gibbous so new crescent half gibbous and full i was it is to be remembered i was remembering like this okay now it is coming what is waxing and waning waxing and waning waxing means increasing so increasing the smooth area of the moon 
so i was remembering like this waxing is increasing the smooth area of the moon so increasing is waxing and waning is reducing waning is reducing and waxing is increasing so uh, waxing like uh, gen- uh, generally the waxing people used to people have the uh, waxings been done so just removal of something so i was thinking that black thing is been removed so this black thing is removed and the white thing appears that is skin is appearing after removal of the hair so that is moon is appearing more and more that's why i remember that waxing this is how i was remembering waxing and the waning is just opposite so here the face will be like this the crescent is like this the half moon is half the gibbous is like this that more than half full is full new means nothing you can see and gibbous again means that more than half you can see and this is half and this one is like this one so for the waxing i was having only this thing that people are removing the hair so more and more skin is exposed like this only the darkness of the moon is going and increasing that's why it is waxing and it is waning i was remembering like this okay so here is the surface definition for the new moon to full moon since the visibility area of the moon the visibility area of the moon illumination surface is increased oops so it is like this one visible area of the moon illuminates illuminated surface is increasing the moon is said to be waxing so for me also like it is increasing so how it is in black is removed that's why i call it as waxing but that's how i remember actually and when the surface area of the moon is decreasing is decreasing then i will call it as waning hmm daily retardation of the moon that is a new moon when the sun and the moon are in conjunction there would be a uh, there would be culminate at the same time during the course of the day a moon would have moved eastward that is 12.2 degrees in the in its orbit around the earth with respect to the exactly one day after the new moon when the earth has completed one rotation with respect to the sun the sun once again culminate but the moon to culminate again the earth would have to rotate a further 12.2 degree since the earth rotates at 15 degrees per hour it takes 49 minutes to rotate the further 12.2 degrees thus the moon culminate about 50 minutes uh, late each day so we need to just remember that because uh if it is on the same let's say it is on the new moon so what is new moon new moon means uh, when there is we cannot see the moon so if we cannot see the moon this means that the full face of the sun or the full light of this uh, sun is been covered by the part which is not been seen towards us so uh, on that day the moon and the sun rises exactly at the same time and they culminate at the same time that is they set at the same times so we cannot see moon at, on the same day whereas whereas on the other days what happens moon just moves so what has happened that uh, when the earth is rotating earth further needs because moon is rotating in the same direction so that's what uh, that's what is there that because of which the earth has to rotate further 12.2 degrees so earth has to go just to remember that 12.2 degrees earth has to further rotate so that the moon will complete or there will be one full 24 hours so this 12.2 degrees will be covered in 49 minutes approximately so it is said it has been observed that um uh, moon will take 50 more minutes to 
come to the same longitude so that's why the lunar is is therefore is about 24 hours and 50 minutes or mean solar of mean solar day this means lunar days are longer than solar days so what i want to say is that we have to just remember that earth need to move more 12.2 degrees more so that the moon will culminate again for that earth need 49 plus minutes so because of that moon culminates 50 minutes late each day which is sometimes asked the why moon culminates so because the earth further needs 12.2 degrees uh, to move so that it will complete 360 degrees here you can see during the course of one day the moon would have moved eastward by 360 degree 29 and a half that is about if we will go that moon have moved east eastward by 360 which is divided by 29 and a half which will come 12.2 degrees in its orbit around the earth with respect to the sun so a new moon when the sun or the moon are in conjunction they would culminate at the same time they will go same time but during the course of one day the next very day the moon would have moved eastward by 360 degrees divided by 29 and a half that is about 12.2 degrees in its orbit around the earth this means the moon itself has moved forward no the moon is also having a path so moon will further move eastward by 12.2 degrees that's why the now the earth has to do that thing to culminate so that the moon will be having same longitude how the moon will act because we will we are taking green which let us assume that we are taking actually green which only that moon is coming uh, sorry sun is coming and, and passing the green which and then again going to the inferior meridian of the green which and setting up that's what for the moon let us assume that moon yeah, this one is our green witch so moon is coming moon is coming like this and then it is going like this and then it is going in the inferior let's say that this is this is the inferior meridian which is going here um, of the uh, green witch so what is happening that the moon when it is okay come just rising from here coming here and then going over here so what is happening the same on the new moon day the both the sun as well as the moon are going like this but whereas on the next very day the moon will okay start from here only but moon further moves like 360 divided by 29.12 29 and a half that is 12.2 uh, degrees in its orbit around the earth it will move further that's because of that one the earth further this longitude need to move further more uh, towards the east this also need to move further towards the east that is this longitude hour has to also further move it that's why it is coming up like 12.2 degrees which needs 15 uh, at a rate of 15 degrees per hour we need 50 more minutes so, so the moon will culminate 50 minutes later each day you can observe also you can observe these things uh, on the day to day uh, means if you will go let's say today uh, you will go and you will watch the moon you can observe all these things then about the stars also like four minutes you can observe very easily so here is 50 minutes here you can observe in one two days for the stars you need at least two three four times if you will observe that the same star and you will calculate it that okay it was here or it was like this or this bearing was there it is different actually but you can determine for the stars also so moon is culminating about 50 minutes just this to remember how it is doing because of this 12.2 degrees and what is lunar day is 24 hours and 50 minutes of solar day that is 24 hours it is calculating with respect to 24 hours that's why it is written it is more than 24 hours 24 hours and 50 minutes
appearance of the moon relative to the horizon liberation of the moon eclipse okay now next slide i will cover up this eclipse